You know, this entire process for me, which has really been short, it's only been about six months. Um, it's always been about that. What do I really want? At first, man, it was, uh, it was about, I really want to continue to do music because I almost gave it up. So after that, what do you do? I don't know. I just know I really want to do it. We arrived and I, I started to look around like, oh man, all these people are here for me. Like, and I started freaking out. I'm like, oh man, <laughs> I was just like, I don't want to ruin this. I don't want, I don't want to fuck this up, you know? But once I kind of settled down and then like we got to playing and like I just saw everyone's excitement and how everything was going smoothly and like just kind of fell into the pocket. Um, when it came down to doing my vocals there at the end, I was able to like not feel so self-conscious and let go. And like, I think only in that was I was like, okay, like, oh wow, I didn't know I could do this sort of thing, you know? Big talk behind your little screen. I really just want to be able to see progress. I want to be able to see growth. I want to be able to perform festivals. I want to be able to tour. I want to be able to give that opportunity to work, really, you know? Because I know that that's a lot of work, but I want that, like, I want that opportunity. In order to be considered or taken seriously, I needed some music out. I needed something, you know? And I feel like with the music I'm releasing, I, I'm, I'm really showing the potential that I have if given more resources and given that opportunity. Uh, as far as how that, that would come about, the old me would already be plotting, would already be 10 steps in every direction and this and that. But the me now, man, it's just about what I want and, and that's it, I let it go. If, if it happens or doesn't or how, or, I'm like, whatever, you know. I want to, I just want to be at peace about it and not stress myself out, you know. That's right. I mean, even days before recording, we didn't know if it was still going to happen. Days before, I'm switching drummers, you know. So... What they bring to it is everything. Like Franco, uh, my homie guitarist, of course, like he's just welling on the guitar. And then I decided to play on it too. I was like, you know what, this is my record, like, and I play guitar. I love to play rhythm and I feel like I play it well. My roommate uh, ended up playing on the record and completely flipped the thing upside down in a good way. One person, you know what I mean? And not to say that our stuff was, was, didn't sound great before, it was just a different style. So he brings now this edge, this like toughness to it. And then Shane playing the bass, it's like uh, just solid, man. It's just like a solid pocket in there, like he's complimentary. All of us together, man, there's just a certain uh, thing that happens. So with this EP, it was just because like I, I, it boils down to I wanted to have something that I feel like I could rock to, that I feel like I could. It's the first time I'm doing my own music, like completely. I've done projects in the past. I've done this whole process entirely in the past, but never nothing like this. So um, it all boils down to I wanted to put something down that I could hear and say like, damn, like I rock with that, you know. That's the way you are Try to bring me down, don't you? Thought that